In just two years he's time, he's turned himself into one of the most prolific passers in the country. Last week, led the nation with 5,040 yards in the air. Just last Saturday, he etched his name in the history books yet again, throwing seven touchdowns for 424 yards in just the first half. This past week's game was a big boost for our team and for the boys. A lot of the guys, I think our, our hopes are really high right now. I think our spirits are high, and I think uh, everybody's excited to play football again. After you have a win like that, you know, guys start to believe again. So grinding on defenses, Warriors uh, quarterback Brian Moniz. We had this, he's got a special honor here with Hawaii MVP. That's how good he is. Yeah, that's right. The only two time. <laughs> Mighty Mo stepped on the scene for the first time in a Division I setting at just six feet, 190 pounds. Fast forward almost two years to the day, and he's added 15 to that frame, and his stature has grown immensely. Now he's still six feet, but he's added a host of accolades to heighten his visibility. What you see now, the confidence, swagger, the undeniable skills on tape, wasn't always the story for 2010's top signal caller. His humble beginning, the topic of conversation. That's why Bryant Moniz is our Hawaii MVP this week. Moniz looking right side. Before Bryant Moniz was throwing record-setting touchdown passes, he was the fourth-string quarterback without a scholarship, delivering pizza. Then, in an instant. Hello, Alexander, across the 40. Starting QB Greg Alexander went down. That's how Moe's duties under center got going. Sink or swim? I just kind of threw into the fire there. Uh, not much reps at practice. And now I have over 20 games of experience. He came into camp as the fourth stringer, and now here he is the first stringer. Moniz started eight of the last nine games for UH in 2009, losing his first four starts, but ended the year winning three out of four. Momentum that's carried him through. I learned so much from, from my game experiences that that, that that player then is totally different now. And every week I got better. So you know, now, now I'm looking forward to going back to where it kind of all started for me. Brian Moniz is in a quarterback for the Warriors now. And his first pass was aimed for Rodney Bradley. This time looking for redemption. His 2009 trip to Louisiana ended in a 27-6 loss, going just 5-4-11 with 109 yards in the fourth quarter. Now he enters Rustin, a new man, one not lacking confidence. I found that that was something I had to go through, was believing in myself that I could play this game at this level. When you're a new person, I think you try to prove yourself to your teammates, to the state that you can be a Colt Brandon, you can be these guys. Let's get it, baby! Let's get it! Ability, nothing without opportunity. Mighty Moe's made the most of his. Top touchdown tosser last year with 39. Only the ninth quarterback to ever throw for more than 5,000 yards. All things he says he's got to build the ball. Definitely growing as the week go by, as I develop as a quarterback in this offense. You know, we've got to get better at something, so every week I try to work on a weakness in my game. Like his sliding ability. Ryan Moniz. He's a former baseball player. That's not a real good slide right now. <laughs> the thing about when I run is I try to get as much yards before I slide. And you know sometimes the slide might not be the prettiest. The point of a slide is just to not get hit. So whatever way that is, I just try to get down as fast as I can. In the process, he's already rushed for a career best 145 yards in just four games, crushing his previous high mark of 117. Heisman hopefuls thrown for 1,168 yards for 11 touchdowns, just one pick, and he's completed nearly 60% of his passes so far. Warriors in Rustin, we'll hear from them later in sports. Kind of